Slack is where work happens and Slack workflows automate manual Slack tasks. For example, here is a simple Slack workflow that Coral Clouds, a fictitious resort vendor, uses to collaborate and work on an experience session that they provide to customers. Agent Force can trigger workflows like this and they can send all the information needed to accomplish work in Slack from Salesforce. So let me show you how it works. So I'm here in Agent Force. I'm gonna ask, can you show me sessions for full moon beach party? Now the agent analyzes our request and then it's able to use the query action to show me the sessions for this full moon beach party. So we have one session and the agent prompts us whether we would like to collaborate on this session in Slack. So I'm going to respond by saying yes. And the agent says it has completed the Slack workflow and the workflow has created the, the channel and it has done all other steps of the workflow. So let's go back to the Slack to verify this. So you can see we have one activity here and if I go here is the the channel that just got created uh, and there is a canvas uh, that we that this workflow created this. All right, so how is this built? So first let's take a look at the Slack workflow itself. So we can see that to accomplish all the Slack actions, we have to trigger the workflow and we trigger this workflow using a webhook URL. And here you can provide all the data variables that can be input to the workflow. And then this gives a web request URL and we'll take a note of this URL. Next, we use that webhook URL from Slack and configure it as named credential in Salesforce for secure API call from Salesforce to Slack. Next, we have a flow that makes a call to the Slack's webhook. And here in the flow, we map Salesforce data to the Slack workflow inputs using a transform. And then finally, we have an action here to trigger that Slack workflow action. And this is using the HTTP callout action in flows. Next, we turn the flow action into an agent action. So here we have an agent action called collaborate on experience sessions in Slack and we provide the necessary action instructions and the descriptions for inputs and the output response. And finally, we make sure to add this action to the topic. So here we have a topic and you can see we have added the action to the topic. And then we have refined the topics classification details. And then finally, we use the, the plan tracer here in Agent Builder to test our workflow and ensures that everything works smoothly. And that's it. With these simple steps, you can trigger Slack workflows directly from Agent Force. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.